Hey there everyone, Vong here today and today is a video response to uh, Lincoln William. So he had a question if um, these retro ports and the uh, retro gen adapter here. So he's been asking me question if these will work with the Superboy and I have to say they do work with the Superboy but they're not gonna be they're not gonna work as a portable as a portable uh, portable experience you just had to use them like you use on a console so you could play these on the Superboy you just can't play these within within the Superboy you just had to play on the TV using the Superboy so we'll test that right now uh, but here's what happens when you try to use it on a Superboy without the AV. So it won't display anything. <laughs> That's pretty much what you'll get. If it does, if it does display something, you hear like a music playing or something. So. Like this. You still hear the audio, but you won't get any pictures. So it does work though. So to to have pictures on your TV, you need these AV cable that came with the adapters. So these will work with uh, any. These will work with the adapters, and they will uh, give the signal from the Superboy to the TV. So let's hook that up and. There we go. Now it's hooked to the retro ports with Contra on the NES. So if we turn it on, there it is. So as you can see, there's no Contra on the Superboy, but you could play Contra. Yeah, you could play Contra through the Superboy via this adapter. So let's see how it goes. So there it is. I'm playing uh, Contra via the Superboy on this uh, adapter here. So there we go. Works just fine as if you're playing on the real NES. And there it is. So I just say Contra on this uh, NES Retro port for the Superboy works just fine. So there it is. Now many people also wants to know if Famicom game works on the Retro ports. Uh, I haven't tested that on my Retro port review, but all I have to say is Famicom games like this Choji Sentai Jetman game here. Uh, via the Famicom to NES converter will work but you just have to turn it to the back side to make it work so when you plug it into when you plug it into the retro port you just have to make sure that they're not facing you that the back label are facing you and play on top of the retro port so turn it on and there you go Famicom games on your Superboy so Yeah, it's very glitchy now though so we just have to prevent the game from being glitchy like that we just have to take it off and replug it in again so so we're starting on this area there it goes and like before 
the B is still the B button and the A is still the A button, so... Yeah, this is a very fun Famicom game. Now, about Choji Sentai Jetman, this is... This is one of those few games that were supposed to be adapted into Power Rangers. It was one of the few candidates that was gonna be adapted to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but... For some reason, uh... Didn't get the... It didn't get the chance to. It would be great if it got adapted to a Power Ranger. Yeah, this game will work... This game will work completely fine with the uh, Retro Duo Portable. So, with the Superboy, you just have to play on the TV. But with the Retro Duo Portable, you can actually play it within the within the systems. So if you have the Retro Duo Portable like this, you can just turn it on. And then, there you go, you can play it on that. So yeah, now, um, Lincoln William wants to know if it works on the Superboy. It does work on the Superboy. But yeah, he just recently replied to me that he actually returned the Superboy and it's now buying the Retro Duo Portable. So it doesn't really matter which one you have. Uh, the, these adapters will work with anything of any any Super Nintendo clones out there. Yeah, but if, if it plays on the Retro Duo Portable, it will work with the Retro Duo Portable only. But if you're going to play on any other Super Nintendo or Super Nintendo clones, you just have to use it on the TV, that's all. Uh, it's pretty much the same deal with uh, pretty much the same deal with the Genesis, the Retro Gen here as well. So Retro Gen will work with uh, this Superboy here. Like before, you gotta be careful when you put the AV cables inside this dongle inside here. Because you never know when that thing gonna break. It's very, it's a really cheaply made adapter. So, uh, you're probably not gonna, these pro adapters are not gonna last unless you take really, really good care of them. But if you turn the Retro Gym without the AV, uh, you're still gonna get the audios, but no display. Uh, right here, the game is kinda dirty and stuff so it's not gonna work the first time but yeah if you turn it on right now so yeah you you there's gonna be like just music and all that stuff so yeah, but if you plug in the AV cables, uh, take the AV cables and you plug it on top of that. And there you go, you have pictures. So you can play Retro Gen, you can play your Genesis on the Retro Gen on your Superboy on the TV. Just like you would on a, just like you would if you're, you're gonna use this on the Super Nintendo. So. Play John Morris for a while here. So yeah, the Retro Gym does work on the Superboy. But if you want to play on a portable though, you have to use the Retro Duo Portable. <laughs> Unless if you know a way to mod the uh, output into the Superboy, then that will be something. But <laughs> Yeah, this is a really good game. Uh, if you have a chance to play on the Genesis, then, or if you find this somewhere out there for cheap, then feel free to grab it. <laughs> so yeah, the Retro Gen Castlevania Bloodline here works just fine. Uh, other games that will work with it is here too. Uh, this is Dragon Ball Z the Mega Drive version. Uh, this game is only released in Japan and I think a little bit, I think somewhere in Europe too. So this is a Mega Drive version. Uh, it's If you're using on the Retro Gen however, if you plug this on the Retro Gen and you, 
you have to make sure that you're using on the right region so um, right now we are at we are in NTSC we want to change that all the way to Japan though so go one two and three let's see if it works Yeah, it does not work. That means we're on the wrong region there. I have to change it back to the correct regions. Let's try to replug it again. So there it is. It does work. So yeah, the Mega Drive version of the retrogen adapter here uh, works very well. So this is that Dragon Ball Z Super Battle game. Uh, you can fight another player or you can fight the computer. So let's fight the computer for a while. I'm just gonna choose Gohan. Ah, oh, this is the computer fighting the computer. Okay. <laughs> Let's reset that. Now there's, there's one thing that I do love about uh, this uh, Superboy here. If you're, if you're playing the Retro Gen on the Superboy. Remember the X-Men Genesis game that uh, I showed the other time when I was doing the Ag Game Sega Genesis? Yeah, that X-Men game has a level in there that requires you to press the reset buttons so you can actually beat that level well the nomad does not have a reset button so if you play that x-men game on the superboy or the retro duo portable uh you have a reset button to help you beat that level so that's one thing that's one good thing about these uh clone portable here so yeah we there's that's how uh this mega drive game works on this retro gym adapter here so Lincoln Williams, uh, Genesis and Mega Drag game works really fine on the Superboy here. There's really nothing wrong with it. Just can't use it on the Superboy, that's all. <laughs> so that's the Retro Gen adapters on the Superboy. Of course, that's not, uh, that's not the end of what we're gonna test here. You can also play Master System games on the Superboy 2. And to do that, you need the Retrogen again. And this time, you'll need the Power Base Mini. Now, the the big bulky Power Base, original Power Base converter will work on the Retrogen as well. But it'll look very, very uh, weird and uncomfortable if you're using that method. So I require just using the Power Base Mini. It's much more comfortable. Of course, you don't have the option to play those card games, but there's no, there's nothing really special about any of those card games. So if you play like this, then now you can play Master System games on your Superboy, and you have to use it like you use use it on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> so, like I said, you're not gonna be able to take it on the road with you, but at least you get to play on your nice little TV there. So if you turn it on. There it is, Ninja Gaiden, the Master System version, via the Superboy. So let's see how it plays. Alright. There he goes. So yeah, we are playing this on the Superboy now. I say it plays really good. There's no lag or anything. The music sounds good. Control works okay. Uh, gameplay is solid and fluid. Unless if you're not that good with it, but <laughs> I just don't like the Superboy's D-pad compared to the Retro Duo Portable's D-pad. I mean, the D-pad is the only problem I have with platforming like this. So, so as you can tell, audio came from up there on the TV and down here 
on the Superboy. So yeah, uh, Master System game works really well on the Retrogen, on the Retrogen via these um, converters, this power base mini converters there. So you can use this, play it on the Retro Duo Portable as a portable, or use this on the Superboy and play it as a console. So that works really well. You can't play it. You can't play it on the go though if you're using the Superboy. So also, uh, you can also play. I think you can also play Sonic Three and Knuckles on the Retro Gen as well. So you can use that on the Retro Gen and play a uh, play a uh, via your Superboy. The only game that does not work is Son and Knuckle and Sonic 2. So that's one thing. But yeah, look at that, it does work. So Sonic 3 and Knuckle works on the Superboy. And there's one save state that <laughs> yeah, there's one of my save that's already clear. So if you're gonna play on that one. If you're playing that one, then you're gonna get a you're gonna get very far on the game so let's see how far we could oh yeah that one does that one's already clear we can't choose that one is do we so we, we can't choose that one we just have to do this one Yeah, these levels are really really huge and really long too. That's the thing about Sonic 3 and Knuckle here. Got so many levels but those levels are super super long. Man I need a bubble. Come on bubble. There it goes. That's always scary. There it goes. So Sonic 3 and Knuckles works just fine on the retro gen in the Superboy here. Just can't play it as a portable but at least it works so yeah that's one of the testing that we want to get through here retro port works on the superboy and retro gen adapter works on the superboy so you have that but also before we get to the testing with the retro dual portable there's two other games that probably will not work on the superboy or the retro gen adapter here so that one of that game is echo the dolphin and echo the dolphin the tides of time that this is the second game so this is one of the game that does not work on the super retro trio it works on the retron 3 however i haven't tested this on the retro gen adapter yet so we'll try and see if it works uh, maybe it, maybe it might work we're not really sure well there's nothing to see. <laughs> so I'm going to give it three strikes and see if it'll work. Because if it does not work, then it does not work. That's strike number two. Uh, yeah, the Tides of Time here does work on the Retron 5 as well. So Retron 3 and Retron 5 got a nice little advantage with this game. <laughs> Yeah, it's still not working. Uh, I, I just don't know what Retrobit's uh, clone chip is. For some reason, this game does not like it. <laughs> Give it one last try. And if it doesn't work, we'll just have to jump to another game. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the verdict here. Uh, yeah, Echo the Dolphin, the Tides of Time here does not work on the retro gen nor does it work on the super retro trio so if you have super retro trio retro gen uh, this game will not work so you're never you're never gonna get to play this game at all so if you're gonna play this game on a clone 
Retron 3 and Retron 5 are the way to go. Or you can just play on your regular Genesis. So that's always gonna that's always a good option. And another game we like to try, uh, a homebrew. Pure Solar here will work on the Retro Gen. So it does work on the Super Retro Trill, so it has no reason not to work on the Retro Gen. So if you turn on the Superboy, it will not play on the Superboy, but it will work on the TV, hopefully. <laughs> and if it doesn't work, then maybe the Retro Gen does not accept homebrew, perhaps. We just have to make sure of that. So I had to give it one little act, little blow there, and we'll see. Does it work? It should work. Hmm. Give it two more tries. If maybe like uh, it goes ties a ties a time. Maybe homebrews are not acceptable with the ritual gym, perhaps. Let's try one more time. Come on, work. It works on the Super Retro Trio though. So, one last try with this gigantic blow here. See if it'll work. Yeah, doesn't look like Pure Solar will be playing on the Retro Gen at all. Let's test it on the Retro Dual Portable. Maybe that one might work. I mean the Retro Duo Portable does have a lot more clone chip power in here, so maybe it's just the Superboy that's not working. Well, it does attempt to work, but it does it does not work. So let's try three strikes on the three strikes on the Retro Duo Portable as well. Maybe. Not that lucky. Okay, so. Yep, we're not getting any picture here. Okay, two more tries. After that, we're gonna go to the another testing of these games. Let's see, does it work? Does it? Nope, last try. If it does not work this time, then Pure Solar will not work on the Retro Gym. So that means that you can't play Pure Solar on your Super Nintendo as well. So that's a that's a definite plus on the Sega Genesis side. <laughs> Let's see, does it work? Does it? Yeah, it does not work on the Retro Gym at all. No matter how many times we try to. Uh, no matter how many times we try to put it, uh, yeah, the, it's kind of sad. Pure Solar was one of the games that would be best play on the Super Nintendo, and for it to not work on the Retro Gen, yeah, you're not gonna get that opportunity. So I had to say, Pure Solar on Retro Gen is a no-no. It does not work. So. <laughs> Now, let's get to testing with the Retro Duo Portable. Now, a lot of people have been asking if Star Fox will work on this system. I haven't tested that on my review of this console last time, so I'm going to test it now. So here we have Star Fox. This Star Fox is still very good. It works on the Superboy, so let's see if it will work here. So I have it plugged into... The Retro Duo Portable here now. Let's see if it'll work. Because there are some copies that won't work. So let's see if mine works. And as you can see, it works just fine. There's really nothing wrong with it. And just to make sure it works really well, let's press start. And I really like the C option more. Let's go to game. Uh, yeah, it's a really, let's just choose a random path here and see how it plays on the Retro Duo Portable. Now, yeah, there are ver there are different versions of Star Fox, different, uh, uh, different firmware updates. So this might be like one of the more, either one of the later version or one of the earlier version. I, I don't really know, but 
the only thing I do have to say is that it works. <laughs> and if your ver if your copy does not work, then that might be another version of the game. <laughs> and I don't really know much about any of these different versions. Uh, the only thing I do know is that they all have su Super FX chip in there. So, and maybe all of them are not that all of them are not that equal, perhaps. <laughs> So yeah, there it is. It works just fine. A lot of people who claim that this game does not work, I think there might be something wrong with a cartridge or they have a version that is incompatible. Or maybe they have an earlier version of the Retro Duel Portable that is also incompatible. It might be the system too. So yeah, Star Fox works just fine. I think Star Wings, the European version, might work as well. So, so that's Star Fox for the Retro Duo Portable here. This game works just fine. Uh, some people uh, complain that maybe Doom might not work on the Retro Duo Portable, so we'll test that too. And let's see. If that is true, so here we have Doom on the Retro Duel Portable. Let's turn it on, and there it is. We got the uh, display there. So, William Entertainment Inc. Uh, this is the only. This is one of the two games that has a Super FX2 chip in there. So it actually has two instead of one. <laughs> That's a good thing, I think. As you can tell, it plays just fine. It, doesn't look that good compared to uh, all those other versions, but this one is still very, uh, it's still very enjoyable. If you can have any, you know where to uh, know how to handle these kind of games. But yeah, look at that. It works most flawlessly. The music sounds good. Uh, the graphics look as they should. And all the levels are all in there. There's really nothing wrong with playing this on the Retro Duel Portable here. So, if you're gonna shoot them. There he goes. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Doom. Super FX2 chip. Doom. Works great. So, there's nothing wrong with this. However, people still want to know if this works on the Superboy though. So, I had to say, if we play on Superboy, either you might get lucky or you don't. So, let's turn it on. So yeah, if you're lucky, it might work. If you're not lucky, it might not work. It depends. There are some versions that might not work with this. But here's Doom on the Superboy. Uh, let's see how it plays. So like the like the retro do portable, plays just fine. So yeah, the Superboy Doom works just fine on it. Same thing for uh, same thing for Star Fox too. So like I say, if you play on the Superboy, it will actually load. And if it doesn't, if your version does not load, there might be something wrong with it. And as you can tell, I put the game there kind of sloppy, so that might be one of the reasons. But if I put it gently in there, it'll work. And there it is, it works. So, there's really nothing wrong with playing Star Fox and Doom on these two uh, Super Nintendo Portable here. Also, uh, Repro, like Final Fantasy V here, will also work on these system as well. So if you plug this on the Superboy, you turn it on. Let's see if we could get some uh, music here. Or maybe not on the Superboy perhaps. Let's try it again. It should work. Come on, Final Fantasy V. 
Don't fail me. Either that, or maybe the Superboy just don't like Final Fantasy V. Let's try it again. Uh, after this, we'll give it one more strike, perhaps. Come on, Final Fantasy V, work. So, I guess this repro is not compatible with the Superboy then? I just don't get it. Other repro seems to work okay with it. Maybe this is the first one that does not do that, perhaps. So. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work on the Superboy. It does work on the Retro Dude Portable, however. So if you turn it on, on the Retro Dude Portable, as you can tell, look at that. That's a nice little uh, clear screen right there. And those are all my uh, game files. So. so if you play on the Retro Dude Portable, here's how it plays. So I guess the Superboy is not compatible with everything then. So So there it is. So uh, Final Fantasy 5 the repro version Works great on the Retro Dude Portable here, so that's good. So that's basically all the testing that I have for you today. Uh, the re the two adapters, the Retro Ports and Retro Gens. So this Superboy, and this also works on the Superboy. So Lincoln William, if you want to know if it works on the Superboy or not, it works. You just can't play it as a portable. That's all. So I'm Vo. Uh, you guys had a great day and I'll see you next time on my next video. So yeah.